Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be going. Well, what is this? <laughs> it's just kind of like questions that relate to your albums. Hi, Luby. Okay, oh, yeah, so basically what we're doing is you're going to grab an album that relates to the question. So it might be like, you know, what album looks the prettiest? you got five seconds to grab it. Five seconds. Yeah. So, are you ready? I like. <laughs> I like Captain! Oh! Okay, we'll start off easy. What is your favourite album? Go. Uh, okay. Why is that your favourite? Um, because it's my ultimate group, Monster X, and the reason this one, out of all of them, is my favourite is this is the album I got to see them perform live, and it's also, like, just my favourite concept as well, and it's just so pretty! <laughs> Alright. To me. It goes away. Next one. What was the first album you ever bought yourself? Go. I know that one. Where is it? <laughs> the, actually, I bought two at the same time. Does that count? Or? Whichever one's fine. Okay. This one. Ooh, what is it? It's um, BTS's like Wings album. I think part one of the four set series. Um, it's the one that has Bloodstone and Teeth in it. Nah. So this is that album. This is what started it all. <laughs> the other one I was saying that I bought two, I bought this along with another one, is this one. B1, B1 A4. So this was a group I was really into. This is my only album of theirs. They both have the same colour palette. Yeah. Just black and white. But yeah, these are like the first albums I discovered. Yeah. Beautiful. Give them to me. Away they go. We're doing something else with the albums afterwards, that's why I'm doing yeah. Also because you don't get to pick them again. NANI?! That wasn't told to me! Mwahaha. Next. What was the first completed set? Go. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. It's the first one I grabbed. I, okay, this is like one of Astro's albums. Mm -hmm. um, I would say this is one of the completed sets that I have right now. Um, and one of the first ones I believe. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> so far, who has a comeback right now? <laughs> <laughs> who is coming back? <laughs> Screams and cloak. This was, I think, one of my first Astro albums as well. Do you remember when you started collecting albums? What year, roughly? It was in year 12, I think. So, 2009. Because I got into K-pop 2013. I didn't know they sold albums yet. So, and then that's when I found the first time. They started selling albums? Yeah, and then I was just like, you good? Loopy is casually on the floor. Next question. Give me. I'm not going away forever. Just for now. Right. Pick an album you think is the most visually appealing. Okay. <laughs> I can get it down, but like. Um... So, I think I unboxed this on the channel. Um, I say visually appealing because you also be the inside is also really nice as well. So I'm like. Shine, shine, shine. <laughs> Look at this beauty. It is pretty cool though. Which albums do you have the most of, of a particular group? Go. <laughs> um, like, I think this, these ones, Monster X. Mm -hmm. Just because like this whole shelf is Monster X. Yeah. In including like one or like further. Considering how it takes a whole shelf, I think that's the most. Yeah, because I'm looking, I don't think any take up an entire shelf. Give me one of the albums. Just pick one. Any one of them. Grab an album that the group has disbanded. Go. Got too many. Who were they? This is JBJ. So when 101 was a thing, there was another group that also debuted, which was JBJ, which was from. Um, it was like a survival show, mm -hmm. and like these were like idols that everyone liked, but they didn't make the, like the cut or make the group. So the fans like put them in a group, so they did. And right when they disbanded, because like the last song was really like, oh my god, they disbanded, but like, yeah. But there's like a now thing like JBJ '95 with the '95 line is like continue it, and it's yeah. just, like 
Hmm. It's like wholesome. <laughs> yeah, no, I love I love the all their songs. It was a good band, I'm sad they disbanded. The Claw. The Claw. The latest album you bought. Go. <laughs> Treasures Comeback, which is my treasure. I had to look at the title. You had a lot, it's fair. Yeah. The treasure. Treasure. Where are you going? Yes, you might have noticed when she has her intros, the cat, this mm -hmm. is the cat. We're recreating the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do you have any one-off albums? One-off? Yeah, so just, you only have one of oh, the yeah. album. Go. Um, okay, this is a group called Halo. Um, I don't have much of them, but I just, I really wanted to start collecting of them from them, because like, I'm just so, I miss them. They don't, I don't think they have officially disbanded. I like how they've done the almost Polaroid type yeah. blocking. And it's just like, okay. again, like the aesthetic of the whole album. Oh, I love. And like, I don't know why I get so sad. Like, they're just there, but it's just like, they're not here. But I'm just like, come back. It's because they're not in their like, particular order. And they're not going to go back into their particular order. <laughs> Alright, grab an album you have most of that colour. Go. I'm, I'm gonna dress and say red. Where's the red one? <laughs> okay. I said, oh, I could have picked black or white. Does that count as colour? Yes, so if you want, I'll take that one. And you can also grab a black or white. Go. And, okay, we'll just go white. Yeah. Okay. So this, well, the one I had before was The Boys, but yeah, that one. This one is Only One Of, my... <laughs> so, Only One Of. This was a group my like best mate, Jeff, got me into. Because like, at the time, I was like, no, nope, I'm not going to stand anymore. I have enough for the shelf. Shows me this group. I'm like, I like the guy that can't see. Legit, he's got like... Bangs across, oh. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, he's like really nice, and like the whole group is just like, oh, I like these songs, I like Sage. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, grab the smallest album you have, like thinnest like, or smallest, smallest in size. Go. Yeah. That one's different, That's smaller. This is smaller. No, that's smaller. I got it. <laughs> so this album is from Black Sixes. Um, it's one. They have other songs before this, but I think this is like one of the first actual like hard copy albums that I could get my hands on. So like, it's just like a simple little like CD album with like the photo will be like stuck inside. So it's not like. This is a group I like really got into as well. And yeah, I was really happy to finally get something of theirs because like Yes. We need a baby. I love how I was just looking. Okay. My eyes were like going down with this I'm like, that's smaller. No, that's smaller. Alright, grab the biggest album you have. Go. BTS! Because they're stuck in the shelf. Oh no, can we actually get out? Yeah. Not if per, because I have other ones that are pretty big, like my golden child ones. Mm -hmm. This is my coming up. This is like one of the biggest albums. So BTS is Master of the Stars. Which I'm sure doesn't come to surprise for like the biggest album because like the team is massive. But I do like how it's made of like recycled like paper and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Environmentally friendly. Yeah. Look at them go. Like yeah. they can break it. <laughs> Pass me, baby. Okay. Ah! That's fine. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Do you have an album that you never fully opened or never fully looked through?
going a bit longer for this one. I can think of one. I don't know if they're technically open or not. From here, they don't look open. Oh, the one home one? Yeah, I guess like when they're packaged like this, I generally don't open them much because like the anxiety that comes with the kind of packaging. It's like a little goodie bag kind of album. Oh. I want to kind of keep these like pristine and shit. Like, like also just look at the packaging. It's like pretty delicate. Happy birthday! It's your birthday today. Grab an album that you have collected the most merch from the group, but not the album. If that makes sense. No. Um. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um. Which one would not make this show fall over? Dot seven. Okay. I want to collect more of them. It's just like I know that. <laughs> I know the albums are still there. So like in the back of my head, I'm like, I can get them when I can afford them. But like, I have like got them in like clothes, I have got some like plushies, little figurines of them. Like, I'll go get them so I can like show you what I mean. Okay. This is what I mean by some, so a little plushie of a member and like tiny little figurines of them as well. So yeah. I would say that's like more of their merch than their albums because, yeah, I love how I grab my bias too. <laughs> it's just like, I right, grab JP. Are you calling Costa and shit? <laughs> oh, you had some. You have little on your nose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucy. Next one. Grab an album where your bias of all biases are in. So, like my ultimate. Your bias? ultimate bias. Your number one bias. Well, okay. Fun fact. My ultimate bias changed from the time I last said my ultimate bias, and I don't have any albums. Him. Grab the one then from your last ultimate bias. I was gonna say like his Hun Hunse from Victor is now my ultimate bias and will probably remain because like he bet Hung Gil, which is a fucking how the fuck are did he do that? He's Hung Gil. <laughs> I'm sorry I could chase him. It's okay, he'll always be upset with you. <laughs> It's fine. He's a very nice man though. Okay, grab the one with the youngest member that you can think of. <laughs> Who are the babies of the groups? Let me show that album while grab another one. This one. So DKB, I also unboxed one of their albums on the channel. I say the youngest I can think of, and I'm pretty sure the youngest member is born. 2004. Infants. Infants. Literal children. Give me the young baby. And give a baby. Grab the one that people might not think you collect. Fun fact, I do collect girl groups. Alright. <laughs> Calm. I know. Mama Moo. Yes. So I am collecting Mama Moo as well. They are my favourite, favourite girl group. Have you seen her life? Yes, ma'am. Oh. I'm so annoying. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. No, my, my wife. You have too many wives. Give me. I want that one. <laughs> Give me. Grab an album you think represents you the most currently. Which is broken. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Which one doesn't have enough emotional capacity to do anything? <laughs> Um, this is the Why Wood Blows album, and it's also, the title track is, um, Time Shell. So, I feel like this best describes me because, like, um, I don't know. This, the way, um, what the, the whole, like, aesthetic as well within the album. Because, like, it, and the plot that goes behind it. So, like, um, I think, like, one of the members is, like, a stalker kind of character and the other one's like a hacker and like all different ways of like reality in the world and such so like i don't know i just feel like this is the most like lit i don't know yeah. i just feel connected to it for some reason and not just because of the aesthetic but like i just like the the meaning that comes behind it as well so 
Hey, I mean, if it resonates with you, it resonates with you. You don't have to always explain. <laughs> Pick one that resonates or represents your cat the most. Get a loopy. <laughs> So this one, in particular, wow, this one, um, you might be thinking why or aha, but um, I named Loopy after the rapper Loopy because he's actually like, I'm really into like Thai hip hop as well, and I just thought the name fitted him, so yeah, so to kind of get like a better angle of this. Pick a random album and describe it in less than five words. <laughs> I should, but like... I love him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is another rapper. It's um, Nafla, which... Um, Dust it. Fuck, what the fuck? I generally love Nafla. I don't care. I just... Something about his music, I just fall in love with as well. So like... I love this man and his music. That's what I think. I love this man's music. There you go. Last but not least, pick one album you want to recommend people listen to. Y'all okay out there? So, this is, if you don't know, this is KMK. KMK I, is one of my favourite groups as well and it's also sadly an underrated group I would say as well. So I would say people should listen to them more. This album contains the Sunset album. Uh, wow. The Sunset song. So it's the dance of this is also incredible. And the attributes. Like, I hope to be shirtless. I'm just saying. <laughs> the attributes <laughs> equals shirtless. Um, yeah, I recommend the Sunset um, song from KMK. Because I, I just feel like it's a good song to like, Listen to it as well, and it's got a nice beat to it. Give me the album. Which one do you think describes Dakota? Go. So, one I think describes Dakota well is this Phage Aesthetic album from End Flying. Um, it's a very like um, traditional kind of setting on the plant. So like, yeah. so like that nice, you know, pinky pastel aesthetic as well as like a sage kind of tone, like a neutral kind of aesthetic. Which one do you think describes me, Jada? Jada. Jada. I know exactly because I'm doing this also because you love them as well. Ha ha. Eighties is Wonderland. That's the group I got you into with this song with, so it fits your vibe perfectly. I do like them. They're very pretty. Give me my men. <laughs> Thank you. My treasure. Which one describes Caitlin? Well, I was going to say Waho, but since I already used his album, I got this one. Which is also a very rare album. So she's a rare gem as well. You're good. Um... Um, clean up in aisle five. Um, so this one. This is a group called Ace, which I also think is underrated. That needs a bit more love. But um, this is their first, I think, single. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a single. Um, it's just got a nice like pink aesthetic, but also like it's got a nice like plant vibe as well, which I feel like suits her as well as the style of the outfit. So like. Yeah, I can see that. I just, I feel like if Caitlyn saw this album, I feel like it'll give her lots of inspiration for a photo shoot. Yep. yep. Give me the album. <laughs> Which one do you think would describe Erin? Erin? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, honorary member of the team, basically. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this is an album from Intuit. They're a snapshot album. Um, I think this describes Erin well because as well as like the photo shoot that's inside, I just feel like, I don't know why, I feel like she could give off a nice purple aesthetic as well. So like, there's that and like, 
It just has a nice like runway um, theme as well. And I don't know, when I, I thought of Erin, I just thought of this hour style. Anything else? I feel like she'd wear some of the outfits as well. Mm. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Anything you want to say? It could be outro. Okay. Um, so that's it. You know, thank you so much for watching and my crazy album tour as well. Um, be sure to check out the next video. If you don't, how does it work on YouTube? <laughs> Just say check out the next video. Check out the next video. Um, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you on the next one. I really just did simply that joke. <laughs>